in my 10 years of teaching journey, I have mentored a lot of J.E. aspirants from various cities like Kota, Jaipur, Mumbai and various uh, regions of South as well. But one thing which is constant, what is that? That majority of the students make mistake while calculating or while expanding a determinant. Whether they are toppers or average student, but every student at least once they have committed this mistake, which is calculation of value of a determinant. So I have something which I will tell you that is shortcut to find value of a determinant. By learning this shortcut, you will ensure eight marks straight in your JE main examination. Why I'm saying this? Because you see yourself in JE main April attempt. I'm talking about April attempt. Similar thing observed in uh, January attempt as well that there were multiple instances where you need to calculate determinant of 3 cross 3, determinant of a 3 cross 3 uh, matrix, right? Or determinant of a 3 cross 3 matrix, right? So over here you can clearly see again you have to like expand this determinant and then so on. Especially a short short question you will see uh, from the Kramer's rule where the main part is the calculation of determinant and here majority of the students make mistake in the calculation of that value, okay? So we will learn, I will show you there were, there were multiple questions like here also you need to calculate uh, determinant value, same here, so many questions and there are, these are the only only some questions, only few questions. I could not uh, bring a lot of questions, right? So today in this session, we are going to learn how to calculate value of a determinant using this shortcut. And by the way, this shortcut was given by Sarus, okay? So this is a Sarus rule. And uh, rather than going uh, and calculating determinant of a 3 cross 3 matrix in traditional way, I have a shortcut for you. Let me just write down that shortcut. So first of all, this is a 3 cross 3 determinant, right? Now what you will do is, the first thing is, this is your column 1, this is column 2 and this is column 3. Now what you will do is, column 1 and column 2, you have to rewrite. How? Let me show you. So this is your column number 1 column number 2 and column number 3. So this column 1 you have to rewrite, copy paste just here, right after this column number 3. So C1, C2, C3 and again you have to write C1, right? And after that you have to write C2. I think the very first step is clear that what you are doing is C1, C2, C3 then C1, C2. Once you are done with that, now what you need to do is you need to multiply. What exactly? Let me show you. So you need to start from this very first element of this determinant that is 1 and you need to cover the complete diagonal 1, minus 1 and 8. So you are going to multiply these three elements. What will you get? Tell me. So ma'am 1 into minus 1 into 8. So you are going to get minus 8, right? You can directly multiply also. I am just writing so that you get the clear picture. Now next apply a positive sign. Now start with minus 3, 0 and minus 7. So minus 3, 0 and minus 7. Now next, you will start with 5. So this diagonal, then the second diagonal, then the third diagonal, 5, 2 and 6. So plus 5 multiply 2 multiply 6, right? Now you don't have to stop. It is not done yet. Second thing, another thing you have to do. So this is the first part of it. The second part is you have to apply a negative sign over here and now you have to repeat the same thing but with little bit different manner. So what you need to do is now you have to start with this diagonal, okay? This diagonal, let's say so this, start with this diagonal 5 minus 1 and minus 7, okay? So start with this diagonal, this diagonal, this diagonal and then switch over to the ones you are done with this, then start with this. So this is what? So minus sign you have already applied. Then 5 minus 1 minus 7. 5 minus 1 and minus 7. Plus. Now 1, 0 and 6. Right? Plus minus 3, 2 and 8. Right? And now just solve it out. Okay? So yeah, this is it. Let me just show you. So what did you do? So you multiplied these three elements written over here. Then these three elements written over here then these three elements written over here and you are going to add all the three uh, numbers right then minus sign is there 
and start with this. So 5 minus 1 and minus 7, 1, 0 and 6, can you see? And minus 3, 2 and 8. Again, you have to add everything. So this, this thing is plus and this thing is minus. Now solve it out. So just minus 8 and then 0 and then uh, 60, correct? So these are the three elements minus. Now what about this? 35 plus 0 and this is going to be 8 to the 16, so minus 48, correct? So this is 52 minus, basically this is plus, which is going to be 3 and 1. Right? So the final answer would be 65. Okay? Now you must be wondering ma'am, this method, uh, we are comfortable with the very first method. I agree. But in that method, the, with the expansion along, along row 1, it, there are high chances that you might commit a mistake. This is a lot simpler method. So if you want to avoid mistake, you can go out. Uh, you can check out this method also. And I will leave you with this determinant now. Uh, yeah, so you can solve this determinant with the Saru's rule and let me know in the comment section your answer. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Meenam Jata signing off.